Hey folks, it's Keith Beardsley back with another edition of the atori01.com blog. And today, just going to take a quick look at this endorsement by Stephen Harper of Pierre, and in effect, Harper's meddling in the leadership race. I don't think it's any surprise that Harper supports Pierre. I think that's sort of to be expected. Um, looking at how Harper views his, you know, his old party, because he's no longer the leader. And what he would like to see going for. So no surprises there. I think if I was on the charade team or any of the other candidates, I wouldn't be surprised either. I think the only surprise is that he chose to do it publicly. And, you know, I sat in many meetings with him when he would complain about former leaders and politicians interfering in things that were going on. So it sort of goes against the grain here for him to get involved in this race. So what does it mean? Were Pierre's numbers slipping and he thought he needed to help out? Um, I don't know why. In the middle of summer, when very few people are paying attention to make an endorsement, it would be better to do this closer to the beginning. And even then, why do it publicly? Why not just do it quietly? It would have to be much more effective. And really, the endorsement is a double-edged sword. Uh, on one side, it gives Pierre a nice bump, you know, a push, which is great, you know, great for Pierre. On the other side, it also raises expectations. You know, the former boss has now anointed you as the man to go out and slay the dragon, Justin Trudeau. What happens if he doesn't? Trudeau's an excellent campaigner. I may not like him, you may not like him, but he thrives on campaigning. He's a good campaigning. Stephen Harper thought he could beat him in 2015 and didn't. So don't get your expectations too high. You know, be realistic here. The Liberals can always pull something out of the bag and maybe even a new leader to replace Justin. We just don't know. But Harper's given his trust and, in effect, tossed the mantle to Pierre. Pierre must now produce. And this is very tough expectations for any leader to meet. All those different groups that he's made promises to are all going to be standing there with hand out waiting to get served. And Pierre's being in government. He knows as well as I do that you can have only so many first-time first, first time promises. Only so many groups will expect that you're going to look at their issue and it's going to be your number one issue. Look at one of the reasons Paul Martin was defeated. You know, everywhere he went, he told every group he spoke to, every group that he thought he could win votes from, that they were his number one priority. And Jason Plotz and I at one point added them all up and I think we came to 144 separate number one priorities. So. Don't get into that trap either. The other issue is with Harper getting involved now, what happens after the leadership race is over? If the party is badly divided, if it's a very close vote, let's go back to Max Bernay and that, where you have a large segment of the party upset and maybe with the possibility of walking away, who knows? What role can Stephen Harper now play in keeping that party together? He's burnt his bridges on that one. So that's another issue that we have to look at. And let's assume whoever the leader is down the road, if it's not Pierre, what influence does Harper now have with that leader? And will that leader call Harper for advice? Probably not. So there's lots of positives, short-term positives uh, for Pierre right now. There's a lot of long-term negatives, and I feel sorry for someone like him to be put in that spot. So he has to deliver, he's got no choice, and the party will be very unforgiving, his boss will be unforgiving, if that happens as well. It's not he was his boss loosely as Stephen Harper, like he was my boss at one point too. So I wish Pierre the best, I wish all the candidates the best, John, Scott, all of them. Uh, it's an interesting road that you're trying to follow, and it's just made it a little bit more difficult, but in the end, maybe a bit more fun too. So Keith Beardsley, a Tory01.com wishing you a great day.